Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm going to be doing another video in my MBTI series and it's going to be extrovert book recommendations. A couple of weeks ago I did the introvert book recommendations and I explained the series that I'm going to be doing so this is the next video and it's the complement to the introversion ones. As I did with the introvert book recommendations, I'll talk a little bit about what extroversion is, not because I'm an extrovert, because I'm not, but just from the psychology background that I have and my current counseling perspective. So extroversion isn't necessarily being loud or super social or anything like that, but it has to do with, again, where you are getting and placing your energy in. And whereas with introversion, that's the inner world, with extroversion, that's the outer world. So extroverts may be a little bit more social, but that's just because they are getting energy from the external world and other people, whereas with introverts that's a bit more draining and they need to recharge and have some time alone. So the introvert books, those tended to center on specific characters and ideas. And then for the extrovert books, I'm going to be looking at ones that have to do more with people and things, the outer world. Some of these might have a bit more action or energy. And the ones that are focusing on people are more relationship driven rather than one specific character and their growth. Also, I realized after I completed this list that all of these books have a female protagonist, so oh well. <laughs> that was the case with my introvert book recommendations too. I think that's just how I tend to read at this point. A lot of the books that I read now have female protagonists. So the first book that I want to recommend is one that I don't have on hand because when I read it last year I had it out from the library, but that is The Complete Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. This is a very popular graphic novel so you probably have heard of it, but it's really kind of a semi-autobiographical graphic memoir and it's focusing on two parts with Marjane growing up during the Islamic Revolution as a child and then as a young woman when she moves to Vienna for studies and things like that. Though this is semi-autobiographical and it's following one person, I feel like it's really more about Marjane in her environment, whatever that is. So Vienna or the Islamic Revolution, all of these cultural aspects, it's really Marjane interacting with those things, so it's more external than internal, I would say. Also, the character of Marjane, who is the author and illustrator, <laughs> I think she has the specific energy that extroverts would really appreciate. I loved her as an introvert, but some of her more almost loud characteristics or more vocal characteristics, I think, would really resonate with an extrovert. Marjane's also very witty and humorous, and I think that the extrovert would also like that. And I appreciated that. However, in those situations, I don't know that I could have been as outspoken as she often was. You'll notice that in virtually all of these recommendations, even, like I said, if it's an individual character, it's them interacting with others or their external environment, and that's really the focus to me. The next one that I want to talk about is Alana, The First Adventure by Tamara Pierce. This is a middle grade fantasy book with adventure and magic, and it's the kind of thing that I wish that I had had as a kid, which I mean I could have because it was around when I was a kid, but I didn't get to read it then, I read it as an adult. It centers around this girl named Alana who is switching places with her brother who's supposed to be going to learn to be a knight and she's supposed to be going to learn magic but she wants to be the knight, he wants to learn the magic so they switch places and do kind of a gender flip. So she's pretending to be Alan of Treebond instead of Alana. So this entire thing is Alana reacting to her circumstances and her environment because she has a lot of troubles trying to hold up this facade of her being a boy when she's really not and also having these male friends who don't know that she's a girl and just navigating that entire situation. This is the first book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet. I haven't read any of the others yet but I think that this series is going to play a lot with the idea of destiny and not so much in the intrapersonal sense, I think it's going to be interpersonal, so destiny in relation to others instead of like a destiny within yourself, which is why I am recommending it for extroverts. I also think the action and adventure is something that a young extrovert in particular would really like. Next up I have a middle grade classic and it's Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. This is the first book of this series, which is the only one that I've read so far, though I'm pretty sure within the next couple of months I'm going to read at least the next two. Though this is following Anne Shirley, one specific character, I think that it's really focusing on her relationships with her adoptive family and her peers. So in this sense, even though I would say it's character driven because we're coming to really love Anne Shirley who is this spunky little girl with a huge temper, 
What we're really becoming invested in are her relationships with Matthew and Marilla, who are kind of her adoptive parents. They're a sibling pair who live in the same house, with her relationships in school. And I think that relational aspect is something that is a very extroverted quality. This is full of heart, and one of my favorite concepts in this is that of kindred spirits, which is such an extrovert thing in my opinion. I definitely think kindred spirits are something that introverts can appreciate and experience too. But it's so relational and so outer focused, it's not so much of an inner thing, even if it comes from an inner place, that I would call this an extrovert book over an introvert book. Again, all of these books are ones that I think are very influenced by the particular environment or place or setting that they're in, and this is definitely the case for Anne of Green Gables. My fourth recommendation for extroverts is the only male authored one, again I read a lot by women lately, and that is the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I recently reread The Final Empire, which is the first book in the Mistborn Trilogy, and it occurred to me just how extroverted all of his series are when you don't consider them as an entire universe. But first I'll start with Mistborn, because that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Mistborn is following a street urchin girl named Vin who becomes part of a crew who have a specific mission that they're working on. It's kind of a job to them, but it's more. It's more than a job. So you're following this crew throughout this book, which is very obviously a relationship-driven thing if it's an entire group of people who are being followed, even though there are a couple particular protagonists. So there are the people, but then there are also the things, which for this is the world of Skadriel. Skadriel is the planet that this final empire is set on, and it is quite the setting. There's a red sun and ash mounts and, and the constant presence of mist that comes out at night and ash that falls from the sky. The setting is influenced by the plot and the plot is influenced by the setting, which I would consider to be very extroverted. Also, all of Brandon Sanderson's magic systems, I would say, are extroverted on the surface. So when you look at this on the surface, all you know is that the Allomancers, which are one of the kinds of magic users in the Mistborn world, ingest a specific kind of metal, and depending upon their ability, they can do a specific thing, also depending on the kind of metal they've ingested. So that magic system seems to be very things-centered, until you consider the Cosmere as a whole, which has multiple different realms, like a cognitive realm and a spiritual realm, which have to do with specific forms of investiture, which is actually very internal, and I'm not going to get into that because this is an extrovert book recommendation. If you are looking at this on a surface level, and you are not considering the entire Cosmere as a whole and how it all relates, because that is a bit more idea-driven, this is a very people and things driven book. And I realized that when I was rereading it, and obviously for any of these I think introverts can still enjoy them too, I just think the books have specific qualities that extroverts also have. Also the fact that in Mistborn the Allomancers are literally taking an external thing and gaining something akin to energy. That's so extroverted. Anyway, Mistborn on its own, as the original trilogy, is a very extroverted series. And I would even say that the quartet that follows is also extroverted. And now we have my final extrovert recommendation, which is going to be The Help by Catherine Stockett, which is another one that is wildly popular. And I think that this one makes a lot of sense as well for why it would be an extroverted book. It's, it's following three women who are interacting with each other and the actual setting and time period. This is set in 1962 Mississippi, so there's a lot of stuff happening in this civil rights era. <laughs> I feel like I don't need to say very much of what this book is about other than that because everybody has probably heard of it. I thought that the most interesting part of this story was the relationships between Skeeter, Abilene, and Minnie. Skeeter being a young white woman, and Abilene and Minnie being two black women who are a bit more middle age. And once again, the people and things, or people and place, are the key in this one. And yes, that is influenced by ideas, but I would say that the time period specifically is the biggest influencer in the help. And that is going to be it for my extrovert book recommendations. This video may have been slightly shorter just because as an introvert I don't relate to these recommendations as much, but these are all still books that I enjoyed. I just wanted to highlight their extroverted qualities that I think might make an extrovert 
particularly appreciate them. Or for example, how I've just recently reread Mistborn and the extroverted qualities stood out in my mind just because I'm now aware of those introverted reading preferences that I have. Also, if you've watched this video as well as the introvert video, you may have noticed that there is a pretty similar format as far as the five books that I recommend. In both videos, there has been one nonfiction, two science fiction or fantasy, one historical fiction, and one classic. I'm not sure if that'll stick throughout the entire eight video series, but that's kind of how it's happened so far. But I also thought that that was pretty indicative of my reading tastes. But anyway, comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, particularly if you're an extrovert, and also what are some books that you think are extroverted in nature. Hopefully within the next few weeks I get my next video in this series up, and that is going to be intuitive book recommendations. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and until next time, bye.